This is the Catholic Daily Journal for Monday, March the 18th, 2019. It's the feast day of St. Cyril of Jerusalem, bishop and doctor of the church, born A.D. 313 in or around Jerusalem. He was widely recognized as a great theologian and preacher and was made bishop of Jerusalem around his 35th birthday. He was immediately neck deep in conflict with Arian heretics from all sides. He fought a lot of uphill theological battles with a lot of people, and he formalized a kind of informal structure that had existed for many years when it comes to teaching people how to be Christian. The preaching of the gospel to those who had not heard or believed was called in Greek the kerygma. Once someone came to believe, they would be called a catechumen and would receive catechesis or instruction in the faith. But that instruction would not give way secret aspects of the Catholic faith, which would only be given to those fully initiated members of the church. And in fact, at the time, anyone could attend the first part of Mass, which was called the Mass of the Catechumens, a.k.a. the Liturgy of the Word. But before the Creed was recited, everyone who had not already been baptized and received Holy Communion was sent out of the building. And then the so-called Mass of the Faithful, a.k.a. the Liturgy of the Holy Eucharist, proceeded. After someone received their first Holy Communion, then and only then, they would receive further instructions, which were called mystagogia. Cyril wrote a text called the Catechetical Lectures and another called the Mystagogical Catechesis, which were used by preachers all over. Cyril died in 386 and is celebrated as a saint in the East and the West and by the Coptics as well. Today is the anniversary of the death of King Edward the Martyr of England. Now, this isn't Saint Edward the Confessor. He wouldn't be around for another 100 years or so. This is King Edward the Martyr, born in AD 962, died today in AD 978. He's listed in Fox's Book of Martyrs, but as with everything in that moment in British history, there are conflicting accounts. What everyone agrees on is that the names of the people involved are delightful. Edward was the son of Edgar the Peaceful. His brother was Aethelred the Unready. He made enemies of Elfhira and Aethelvine, and was broadly seen to be a victim of his stepmother, (laughs) Aethelhryth. Whether Edward was indeed a martyr for faith or merely a victim of assassination, it's not for us to know. But he was briefly king of England, and he was killed in a plot today in A.D. 978. Today in 1965, Alexei Leonov, a Russian astronaut orbiting the planet in a fully functional and perfectly good spaceship named Voskhod 2, decided to suit up and check out the weather in space. He opened the hatch and for 12 minutes walked alone in space. The fancy name is EVA, Extravehicular Activity. At the end of his 12 minutes and 9 second EVA, he decided to re-enter his spaceship only to find that his suit had swollen and he wouldn't fit. In an act of supreme Russian chill, he calmly opened one of the valves on his suit and vented some of his oxygen out into space. He then calmly re-entered Voskhod II and returned to Earth in an orderly fashion. Finally today in 1850, Henry Wells and William Fargo founded American Express. It began as an express mail company in Buffalo, New York, and then they expanded to California and then nationwide. Within 10 years, they had added money orders to their growing business model. The company took a hit on the railroads and was investigated as monopoly by the ICC under Teddy Roosevelt, but in the 1950s they got into the charge card business, and the rest, as they say, is history. The Catholic Daily Journal is supported by listeners like you. For more information, visit catholicunderground.com. And until next time, be on the lookout for the Lord at work in your life.